Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V. In the last episode, we did some side questy stuff. We co expanded our collection of Aspers. So now, we have Sildra as an Asper, and we've got Odin. Yeah, that was a tough fight, and I, but I broke him. You know, he he was broken. You can, uh, Odin has the uh, power to, uh, I didn't explain it last time, but you, he, if he uses True Edge in battle, he can uh, instant kill a lot of enemies, or he might randomly uh, just attack one single enemy with his spear, Gungnir, or however it's pronounced, I'm not too sure how to pronounce a lot of Norse weapon names. But yeah, so that that's nice. We got, yeah, we got the... Uh, the Mighty Guard spell. Last time, only two more blue magic spells to go. Pretty soon, we won't even have to worry about learning. That'll be great. Yeah, it won't be too much longer, too. I think in the next episode, we'll probably be able to get one of these. Not today, though. Alright, we got another song, the Power Song. That just gradually increases your strength in battle as it's sing singing. But anyway, in Crescent Town, we heard a rumor about a mysterious town that appears in a forest. And here it is, the town of Mirage. Travelers of time living in the cleft of dimension. Okay, so these guys, uh, these guys have been, uh, lost to, uh, the world for a long, long time. Yeah, the town of Mirage. It's kind of, we're kind of, we're kind of partially in the cleft of dimension now, but, like, kind of in an offshoot of it. I like these guys' outfits, too. It's pretty cool. We don't really need to rest up. I slept over it. Ball castle last time. So we got some items. Ooh, they sell elixirs here. Wow, geez, that's expensive. I want to get a couple. Ooh, not that many. Just a few revivifies, just so I have them. And I don't really need anything else. But yeah, there's. You can get some of the best equipment in the game in this town, so it's really important to find it. And you kind of have to come here in order to be able to get like Bahamut and some other uh, stuff. You can speak to us. Could we have returned to the real world? Eh, sort of, kinda. Inside the collective dimension, time in this town stops. Okay, so these guys have been frozen. You know, how do you guys? One thousand years. Ago, how do you know it's been a thousand years? But you guys were sucked into the rift, or the cleft, whatever. A strange bird has wandered here. What? What do you mean a strange bird? Yeah, well, we'll figure that out when we get to it, I guess. Ooh, we got a magic shop. And we got all the uh, spells that you can miss in the game. You know, like the drag spell that you find in the basement of Warus Castle. You know, you can't go to Warus anymore, so... You can buy it here if you missed it, not that it really matters. And, you know, the toad spell, that was in history, I believe, and that's gone too. I forget where size came from. Oh, size was under the, was in the secret base. Float was Sir, Sirgate Castle, and exit was uh, Goloth's Castle, but you can get these two still. And the first three summon spells. Huh. And what's this over here? Oh, there's another shop guy up there, or at least another guy. There must be a back door to this place somewhere, so let's go uh, find it. Hey, there's the black chocobo. All right, cool. All right, here we go. All right, level six spells. All right, so let's stock up on these. Life two, that basically revives you with full HP. Dispel, that kind of nullifies uh, special magic effects like protect or shell or float. You know, Xdef used it when we fought him that back at his castle. Doom, that's an instant death spell. I guess it has a pretty good hit, hit percentage in this game. I don't know how often we'll actually use it, but it's there. And Psych, it's basically Osmos. It steals MP from the, the enemies and replenishes your own. But don't use it on undead enemies or else it'll sap your MP instead. Quick, it's basically lets you uh, attack twice in one turn. An X zone, that's basically kind of a multi target instant death spell, but it sends, I guess it sends its targets into the collected dimension or something, so it's kind of a banishment thing. I don't know if you get experience or ability points for enemies you use this on, but 
it's there. So we got just about all of our spells. You know, the, the remaining three we have to get by uh, unsealing the tablets. Okay, I already talked to this guy. We got an armor shop. The phoenix tower that stands in the desert it is said that a dragon that dies there will return as a phoenix. Interesting. Makes me wonder, because the Hiryu uh, that saved uh, Lena, you know, I'm pretty sure it died. Alright, we got an armor shop. There's... You know, there's some nice stuff here. Uh, let's... I'm gonna get another uh, dark robe. I'm gonna get a... Uh, one more black robe. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Circle it, um... Not really gonna bother with that, actually. Crystal armor, uh, we already have that equipped. Crystal helm, I don't really care. Okay, well that's a good start here, and... Okay, there's another shot back here, but how, how are we supposed to... You know, let me through, man. Oh, hey, you just had to talk to it. Oh, that's cool. Alrighty. The old guy, you'll teach us about rings. The fire ring, it absorbs flame. Protects against cold, but is weak against water. The coral ring absorbs water, protects against flame, and is weak against thunder. And the angel ring it prevents zombie and aging. Yeah, we're gonna probably want to get some of these rings. They're gonna come in handy. We got uh, the Lamia tiara there. I think that improves uh, dancing. Uh, there's a one one of the dances, uh, sword dance, which does like four times normal attack power if you get it. Dancings or dances are kind of random, but this item, I believe, it increases the chance of that, unless I'm mistaking it for a different uh, headgear. But yeah, let's see. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get some uh, coral uh, rings that protects against fire and absorbs water. So we'll be needing those in, for a couple battles down the road. Yeah, sure, I'll get three. I'll have to come back for a fourth one later. Or you know, running shoes, that would be good too to have. But I don't have enough, but I guess I could sell some of the stuff. I'm going to uh, clean out some of my inventory, of some of my older things. So I will see you guys in just a sec. Alrighty, now let's get one more of those coral rings. Yeah, I'll worry about those later, I don't... Does that all come in handy for uh, upcoming battles? Is there anything back here? Nope, just the back of the house. Alrighty, we got magic, we got armor, there are, there's another weapon shop too, I'll check out the pub first. Enua was immortal, but in exchange for acquiring the power of the void, he lost his invulnerable body. So who's Enuo? Yeah, sure, why not? The wall of Phoenix Tower conceal both monsters and stairs. Search the walls. Okay, that's bad news. Alright, there's a door back there, so there's obviously a way a back door. A way to get into the, into the pub. Before I do that, though, I'm gonna check for uh, check the weapon shop. The evil wizard Enuo, who tried to make the world his own with the power of the void, he himself was sucked into the void and disappeared. Yeah, okay. Enuo is basically uh, like X Def's predecessor in a way. He's basically the cause of the void appearing a thousand years ago and. He's not really featured in this game, but in the advanced version, he's an optional bonus boss in the, the at the end of the dungeon after the game was uh, beaten normally. Anyway, I don't really have any use for any of this stuff. There's no secret passages, so there must be another way to... Must be another weapon shop somewhere. Going by the trend and everything. One of these chat the barrels has something in it. Yeah, we got a thief knife. 
and you basically anybody that equips that will I think either randomly steal or will steal every time they attack all right I have a gift for you but not for free I know take a trip around the world in a chocobo and then I'll give it to you okay well challenge accepted after I finish my business here I'm going to do that I'm gonna find Boko and travel around the world it's basically a kind of a reference to uh, Final Fantasy 3 I'm sure there's a piano somewhere in this town, but there's been no one to play it for so long. Aha! Hey, move. Eh, nah, you're not- you're not allowed to move left, are you? And clear out. Anything over here? Oh, there's some stairs. But I can't get to those yet. Alrighty, that's nothing in the bushes, so let's go inside. And we heal! Yeah, who needs an inn in this place? Each shop in this town has two salesmen. Okay. So there's another weapon guy to find. Alright, let's see. What's in here? What the? Huh. That must be, like, deeper into the cleft of dimension or something. Let's go this way. We gotta... Yeah, I'll worry about that later. We got the last piano! Mastered the piano! I am piano master! Alrighty. We'll be able to do something about that in a, just a little bit. Let's go up here. Oh, we're in the back of the weapon shop. Anything just laying around? Nope. But we got pinwheels and shurikens to buy. We got double lances, the full moon, and scrolls. So yeah, this place doesn't really have a whole lot of weapons I need. But, you know, you can stock up on your, uh, throwing, elemental throwing weapons, but I'm not even using a ninja anymore, so that might not really come in handy. Don't really need double ants anymore. Pinwheel, that's pretty cool. But, okay. So let's go back this way. Nothing over here. So, we'll take these stairs. Alright, here we are. Ooh, Black Chocobo! Got you! Alrighty! Sorry to cut the uh, Chocobo song short, but we're going to uh, go find Boko now. Because I accepted a challenge. Alright, we're gonna find... Uh, where Guido's cave was. Alright, it's... Hey, that's Tycoon Castle there, we don't want to go there. Okay, here we go. Alright, the way the world is set up now, Boko can travel a complete circle around the entire world. I think I might go up this way. There's uh, Kuzar back down that way. Okay, that's Rugar. Wind Shrine. I think I'm going the right direction. That's just a patch of forest. I wonder if there's anything in the, even in there. I don't know. I think I did. I took a wrong turn. Alright, back up this way. That was the Tornal Canal there. Back down that way. Alright, seriously, what am, I, what am I doing wrong? Do I have to go around this way? No, that's Kuzar again. I never actually completed the side quest before, so I'm not... So if I'm slipping up a little bit, that's why. kind of annoying now. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing wrong. So I have to go up. Nope, not this way. So I'll go this way. Right, let's take this river. We're going to find a different secret here. So we 
go into the back of this waterfall. And we find the magic lamp. Okay, this is a pretty neat item. It random, it, well, not really random, but it'll summon the most powerful summon monster first, and then uh, gradually cycle through from like the strongest to the weakest. It skips one of them that we'll be getting in uh, probably the next episode. But it just cycles through from strongest to weakest, and I don't think you even have to have the summons for it to work. So it'll start with like Bahamut, then work its way down to like. Uh, what was, what's the other level 6 summon besides Bahamut? But anyway, uh. So you do that, and uh. So basically, and if you want to reset the counter, you take the uh, magic lamp back to uh, the waterfall and just kind of re reactivate it, essentially. Alrighty, let's go back down this way. Got Kuzar here. Okay, that ended up being a dead end, so I want to go back this way. Okay, we got Tool there. Okay, I think we're on the right track now. We're gonna bypass uh, Tycoon shortly. So yeah, we get to we get to see the world. Yeah, this is the path that if you did that glitch from uh, by warping out of the Library of Ancients or the Ancient Library, why do I keep calling it the Library of the Ancients? You know, if you take this path, you can get to, like, Warris and, uh, some other places. And, uh, kind of glitch out the game if you do that. Alright, I'm gonna make a quick pit stop here in, uh, Crescent. Because now that we've played all eight of the pianos, we can get that last song from the minstrel over here. Alright, let's play some, play some tunes. Alright. Bart's and his magical fingers. Tickling those ivories. I probably shouldn't have been talking during that, but we already heard the song once. Now we talk to him. We learn the hero song. This will... It functions the same way as the strength song. But it'll increase your level during battle, so it basically boosts every one of your stats, not just one particular one like magic or or uh, strength. But again, it leaves the uh, the singer inactive during the battle until they're hit or otherwise stop singing. Alrighty, back to Boko. So we're gonna pass by that tower there. We'll worry about that later. Alright, here's our starting point. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I really didn't mean to do that. I hadn't gone around the whole world yet. Okay, now let's do a whole circuit around the entire world. Yeah, this is kind of a throwback to Final Fantasy 3 because you can walk around the entire floating island with a chocobo in that game and get some kind of prize. I forget specifically what it is. That's a nice touch, and, and you know the complete world has you know a, a whole circuit that you can go around. It's weird that Ball Castle looks different on this world map than it did in Golf's world. I don't know why I'm going this way. That's a dead end. Let's go north. I'm gonna bypass Kelb. It's a good thing we don't have to actually go through the village because we'd get stuck without Boko that way. There's the Valley of the Hiryu. We have absolutely no reason to go there ever again. And, uh, what was this? Oh, that's the ancient library there. Not sure if there's anywhere to... I guess we probably could just bypass this. But it's nice to explore. So you got the desert here, there's the pyramid, and Mua. It's got a whole new world. A really... Yeah, 
Bart's world was big enough, and Golf's world was kind of sparse, but then they combined together and it made an even bigger, more complete world. But then we had some places taken away because of XDef in the void. Ah, crap. Another dead end. There's Karnak. We have really no business there whatsoever. I think we're supposed to go north, actually. No, I was right. Ah, eh, crap. Please bear with me, as I am terrible with directions. In both real life and, uh, LP. RPG. Alright, here's our airship. So now, hopefully I can remember the course I took last time. And not screw everything up. Alright, we're gonna go down this way. Pass by the pirate cave. I wonder how those guys are going to set sail from now on. Yeah, alrighty. There goes Tycoon Castle. Once again, alright, we're almost there. Come on, Boko, you can do it! Finish strong! Go for the gold! Chocobo, I want to walk on oceans too! Man, we wouldn't even need a... We could go pretty much anywhere if you were a gold chocobo, Boko. Alrighty, so we gotta enter the town of Mirage with uh, Boko. That should do the trick, so now I gotta go and find that guy again. Here we go. I didn't think, you, I didn't really think you'd take a trip around the world in a chocobo. Take this! And we got the Mirage Vest. It's a pretty nice piece of defensive equipment, and it casts about half of the image spell on you at the start of every battle. Don't didn't didn't you stop by a waterfall during a trip? Okay, that's a little clue for the magic lamp, but we already did that. So let's equip that mirage vest. Its defense is a little bit lower, but well, actually. Bart's is not going to be a samurai much longer. I'm going to give him the Mirage Vest when uh, I'm done with that. Just pretty much just want to get him up to about level, you know, about 440 points, ability points there. Because the next destination has uh, some uh, very, very heavy duty uh, AP granting uh, battles. I believe only four of them, but we'll see that when we get when we see it. So let's take the uh, black chocobo now. Crap. Sorry about that. Let's go take the black chocobo over to that boxed in desert area. Because our nest next destination is the Phoenix Tower that was referenced over over in uh, Mirage Town. Yeah, the. Fortunately, the collective dimension won't open up for the black chocobo. You can't even fly over those openings. It's around here somewhere. Please don't tell me I got lost again. Alright, here we go. So, basically you have to land in the forest here. And make your brave trek across the desert. There's some powerful enemies you can fight here. This is also the way, way that you get to uh, uh, land crawl. Okay, I believe this is the brutal uh, monster that, uh, holy crap, that uh, you fight in. Uh, if you, uh, when you follow the uh, Moogle, when you uh, back in Golf's world through the maze of desert, I believe this is the that rare enemy that you encounter. If you step in the ga the ga what? You step in the sand. He's got a lot of uh, HP and is pretty powerful. Let's blast him with Sildra. Nice. Not bad at all. I'm gonna cast haste on Bards because Mazmune is pretty strong, so it's. 
doing us some good there. Uh, he's still going. Ah, oh, crap, Paris. Alrighty. Another life, too. him with Comet. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, crap. That's not good at all. You didn't have to do Maelstrom on me. You already hit me hard enough to KO a bunch of my party members anyway. And it's dead. Alright. Seven ability points. Not bad at all. Actually, I think... Okay, Bart's is going to uh, become a hunter now with uh, what should his secondary ability be? And guess I'll give him blue magic. If Yoichi bow, yeah, it's pretty good. Don't need to worry about that. Dark, well, yeah, I'll give him mirage. And I'll do the power ring, I guess. Kara. There we go. We're getting there. No more battles, no more battles. Yes, we made it. Alrighty, so guys, next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V, we are going to enter... The Phoenix Tower, get ourselves another blue magic spell, and level up some job classes. And we'll probably get a summon at the top too. I wonder which one it'll be. Alrighty, I will see you guys next time.